Gowan against the seven footer, Elliot Loundis on the tip. But we're underway here at the Spencer Sports Center. Loundis, no surprise, the seven footer wins the tip. Hawkins throws it quickly up to Jalen Norse, hand back off to Hawkins, the right corner, drives baseline, spins around, and just outside the block area, gets it to Loundis. Loundis hands back, and now Norse up top. Left side, Logan with it. Now in the hands of R.J. Walker, he'll go on the drive, 13 on the shot clock. Left side, Logan working against Robinson. Logan around the screen, nine on the shot clock. Back to the logo. That's Walker with it. He'll kick it in the corner. Norris, three from the right corner, left it short, flying in for the rebound, and the put back floater up against Loundis. Goes up, rejected by Loundis, rebound to Logan. Logan the other way for John A. Logan. Hands off to Norris on the right side. Norris will swing it up, now swinging in the left corner, it's Hawkins with it. Now back up top, Walker will run the point, now right side with Norris. Norris, hands to Logan, right back to Norris on the right wing. Norris around the screen, looking for the cutter, nothing there. Logan, down to Lownis at the block. McGowan on him, and the finish by Lownis, using those long arms to his advantage. A beautiful up and under move right there. He was wide open most of the, most of the possession. Brandon Razor Moore brings it up for Wabash Valley. Down 4-2 on the early goings. 18 left. 18 minutes, that is, in the first half. Sprinkles on the drive, getting the start today at the left block. Finds him again now at the right block. In the paint, he'll dribble it back out and reset. Hands off to Robinson in the short corner. Back to McGowan. He'll pull up for two just inside the three-point line. Left it a little strong. Rebound to Logan. Jalen Norris the other way now to Logan. Right corner with it. It's Walker. Now back out to Logan. They'll swing it around. Norris on the left side. Now to Hawkins. Hawkins fakes the handoff. Goes on the drive. To the right elbow. Kicks. Walker for three. It's left short from the right wing. Robinson the rebound. Robinson bringing it up. Flies past Hawkins. And that one's goaltending. That's going to count for Robinson. Jordan Logan showing off the athleticism, flew up, got a piece of that one, but it was on its way down. It'll be goaltending. Had a great call there from the refs. Hopefully we get a better called game in this men's matchup than we got in the women's matchup. But so far, defensively, it's looked well. It's really hard to guard a seven-foot player in the post, especially with the touch that he has. Now, Diop checks in, and he'll be tasked with guarding Lowness now as McGowan's to the bench. We're tied up at four apiece. Left side, Logan kicks to the left corner, Norris drives in. Into the paint area, he's rejected. Now a late foul call. It's gonna be on Sprinkles, I believe. Sprinkles sp stayed with him, but then uh, swiped his arm across and got called for the foul. I don't hate the call. I don't hate the call there. I think, you know, could've went both ways, but obviously the WVC faithful here today aren't liking that call too much. We do have a packed house here at the Spencer Support Center. They do call it on the floor. Okay, uh, interesting to see there. So no free throws for Julian Norris. 20 on the shot clock. It'll be R.J. Walker on the trigger underneath and just to the right of his own basket. Robinson will guard him face up. Walker has it, looking. He'll hand off to Lowness. He'll go up and lays it in right at that right block. He slipped that screen, and he was just absolutely wide open. You can tell Diop helped down on the shooter in the corner. He was just wide open. Robinson up high on the left side. Running the point, he'll swing it over to Sprinkles on the right. Sprinkles around the screen to the top of the key, now on the free throw line. Still on the drive, to the right block. Spins around, tries to find Dia ball on the floor, taken away by Jordan Logan. Now in the hands of Norris, he'll go the other way. Right to left, Logan on the left side, now in the corner, it's Walker. Walker goes on the dribble around the screen, finds Loundis on the cut, to the left block, he can't finish the layup, but he'll go to the free throw line. Brandon Razor Moore picks up a foul. I mean, Right there, I think that's a perfect spot for Brandon Razor Mortis. Get his feet set, take a body, and try and at least get a charge. But at the same time, I get it, you're trying to foul. You don't want the easy layup opportunity for the tallest man on the court. He's got touch too. He's seven foot, he shoots 79.4% from the free throw line where he's at right now, and he made the first one. That gives him five of John A. Logan's seven here early. Volunteers with a seven to four lead right now, 16-48 left in the first half. Got a pretty looking jump shot. I mean, shoots real, it real smooth. 47% from three as well. He doesn't shoot a ton of them, but when he does, they're pretty good. Missed the second free throw that time. Wabash Valley catches a break. Sprinkles the other way quickly. Now into the free throw line. Picked up the dribble. He'll lay it up. No good. Gets his own rebound. Put back is good on the left with the left hand. Great second chance points right there. That's what you got to do if you're Sprinkles. One point game. Jordan Logan with it on the left side. Hands off to Caden Hawkins. Hawkins guarded by Robinson around the screen. Finds Logan on the left wing. He'll take a three ball. That one's a little strong. Robinson flies up for the board. Robinson now running the point across the timeline on the left side. At the left wing, hands off to Razor Moore. 
Hawkins all over him. Razor Moore around the screen from Diop. Moore driving to the right block. Plays it up off the glass and good. Wabash Valley takes a 1.87 lead. Finishing over Lound, this is a tough task. He's got the long arms, but Brandon Razor and Moore, two guys on him, able to finish. Great, great finish. Norris swings over to Hawkins up high on the right side. Hawkins letting things develop. 20 on the shot clock. Now Lound is at the right elbow. Finds Logan, Logan at the right corner. Sprinkles on him. Logan on the drive. Step back across the court to the left corner. It's Walker. Now Norris drives into the paint. Gets stripped. Taylor takes it away. Kaleem Taylor behind the back dribble. Cuts in. Gather step. Lays it up. And he got it. You can feel the energy early here in the Spencer Sports Center. Wabash Valley a 10-7 lead. R.J. Walker, top of the key, kicks it to Hawkins. Now back out to Walker, left side, Logan. Logan will dribble handoff to Julian Norris. Instead, now they get it back up to R.J. Walker. He'll run the point, 15 on the shot clock. Walker to the left around the screen from Lowndes. Now finds Lowndes on the row. Cannot finish it. Robinson the rebound. Robinson the other way on the right side. Tries to pass it to Sprinkles. Hawkins knocks it away and saves it inbounds. John A. Logan the other way. They don't have numbers. Norris with it on the left side. He'll slow it down smartly. Now he'll pull up for three. That's money from Julian Norris. 36% three-point shooter. Uses the strength from Loundis. Kaleem Taylor should have stepped up there. No step up from Kaleem Taylor. Leads to a wide open three. It's been as good as advertised in the early goings. We've got a timeout. It's 10 to 10. All tied up at 14.49 left in the first half. We'll be back here in 30 seconds. You already know that the First National Bank is your real community bank, but have you met our people? It's the people inside that make us a community bank. We live here. We work here. We're your neighbors and your friends. When you bank with us, your money is reinvested in your community. At the First National Bank, our customers are more than an account number. People are the reason for this community. We're your hometown bank, serving the area since 1906. We are the First National Bank, where our people make the difference. Come see us today. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Zach Reynolds, Austin Harrelson, back here with you at the Spencer Sports Center on 89 One The Bash and News Channel 15 YouTube, the Warriors Sports Network. We got a great matchup going so far. It's tied up 10 to 10. Both teams with a couple of runs here. 14-49 left in the first half as the Warriors are taking on the John A. Logan Volunteers. Austin Dutt so far. Uh, both teams playing great defensively. This Warriors team's got to have, have an interesting defensive setup. You know, you, uh, as always, overly, I mean, the height mismatch is there. You have to defend pretty, you know, weirdly in this ballgame. Robinson drives baseline, throws it up off the glass. No good. McGowan tried to put it back. Robinson steals away the rebound, and then it's poked away from him. John A. Logan with the ball. R.J. Walker, two on two, kicks. Norris in the right corner. Thought about pulling up. Now he'll dribble it out and set up the offense. Norris up on the right side, hands off to Walker. Now Logan over the logo, left side to freshly in Jalen Fairman. Fairman up on the left side, kicks it back to Norris, he'll swing to Walker. 10 on the shot clock, Walker down to Boone, fresh in. He'll take a fadeaway jumper, and they missed an air ball. Out of bounds, Cam Boone checked in for allowing us. Boone, about 6'8", also really long, tried to shoot a fadeaway jump shot and didn't get any of it. And now Logan, Jordan Logan to the bench. Checking in is Isaac James. Some size on the floor still for John A. Logan. They don't lack in that, even with Loundis on the bench. Robinson brings it up, up high on the right side. Directing traffic, he'll hand off to Kaleem Taylor. Taylor waiting for things to develop. 15 on the shot clock. Swings back to Robinson, up high on the left. Robinson guarded by Fairman. He'll go on the dribble to the left now. Got a step, finds McGowan, right block, one dribble. Swings, Razor Moore, left corner, three ball. Left it short, rebound to Fairman. Fairman the other way, Robinson picks him up. Fairman at the right wing, swings over, left time James. Now on the left wing, it's, it's uh, Walker, and he threw it away. McGowan takes it away, and he gave it right back, took it right back. McGowan around Norris to Robinson in the short right corner. Now he'll slow it down, kicks it. Kaleem Taylor, top of the key, faked the three, lost the ball on the drive out of bounds. That's a tough play there. He had the open layup, too, and we know how good Kaleem Taylor is at finishing, but... Ah, that's a tough, that's a tough play. Just ball got, ball just got away from him. Well, we have another timeout. This one, immediate timeout. We're still tied up at 10 apiece. Defenses are locking in. 13-21 left. 10 to 10. We'll be back here in one minute. Steve Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has a huge selection service department. Come see us today or view our new and pre-owned Fords at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. 
Before coming to Senior Enrichment Center, I was so depressed that I couldn't get out of bed. That all changed once I started seeing Danielle, the social worker, and Melanie, the nurse. They have been so kind and they are truly care about my health. They have helped me to be able to go out and have shown me the importance of how to deal with my problems in a more constructive way. I think anyone who is experiencing grief, depression, anxiety, or isolation can benefit from this program. The Senior Enrichment Center has changed my life. Back here at the Spencer Sports Center, still tied up at ten apiece as the Warriors and the Volunteers doing battle at the Spencer Sports Center. The defenses have locked in. It's John A. Ball moving right to left. Fairman hands off to Rajon Bardo, fresh in. Left side, back to Fairman. He's at the left wing. Goes around a screen, kicks it south of Key Norris. Pump fake, lost the ball, gets it back. 15 on the shot clock. Norris at the left wing, looking down low, nothing there. Swings it back up to Fairman. Fairman over the logo. Nine on the shot clock. Fairman on the drive at the right elbow. Almost lost it, net hole kick. James, short corner, two-point jump shot. No good, rebound McGowan. McGowan will bring it up to court now. McGowan on the right side, hands off to Mujah Burton. Now back up top over the logo. It's Daniel Robinson to run the point. He'll dribble to the left side. And an offensive foul moving screen against Julian McGowan. Yeah, good call there. McGowan just got to stay set. But I love what the Warriors are doing defensively against this post game. Mujah Burton was matched up against Cameron Boone. But this Warriors team doing a good job of making sure that that backside help is there. Fairman on the drive, hands off to Bardo. He'll dribble handoff now to Norris, who got away with the travel. He'll pull up for a long two, he got it. Good shooter, Julian Norris, he's got five early. John A gets the lead back at 12-10. 12-20 left in the first half. Up on the left side, raising more kicks to Lucas Henderson. Henderson will dribble it back up towards the top. Now he'll drive back left, hand off to raising more on the left wing. Raising more around a screen on the dribble, 15 on the shot clock, right side, Burton. He'll pull up three from the right wing. A little strong, rebound to Norris. Norris quickly the other way, right to left. Backs it out into the right corner. Now he'll throw it in to the big man, James. James spins, goes baseline, across the paint, threw it away. Lucas Henderson comes away with it. Henderson will bring it up to court now. He'll swing it up to McGowan. Now Burton on the left side. He'll drive baseline. He'll throw it up off the glass. Tie game again. Burton. Burton's been a vital piece off the bench offensively for this Warriors team these past few games. Fairman on the right wing, he'll drive in at the right elbow, picked up the dribble, throws it to Bardo on the left corner, pump fake, he'll drive in, throws it to Boone at the right block, he's rejected by McGowan, Robinson comes away with it. McGowan just got a piece of it, that was enough. Robinson the other way, drives in and he's fouled by Bardo. Can't get the shot to fall. And then Robinson will go to the free throw line to try to take the lead for Wabash Valley here in the early going. I mean, it all starts with that block from Julian McGowan. I mean, that's and that's what we've been missing. You know, he was not, you know, he didn't play at that Shawnee game. And you could just tell that that defensive intensity wasn't there. He's ultra athletic and he's super, super vital defensively for this Warriors team. And they've played great defensively so far. They're doubling the post. That backside help has to be there to scare this John A team away from feeding the post because it's, I mean, the past couple weeks, that's what has beaten this Warriors team. Robinson missed the first free throw too strong, makes the second one nothing to net, gives Wabash Valley a one point, 13 to 12 lead. Now Haji Diop checked back in for Wabash Valley. Him and McGowan kind of switching in and out, trying to keep each other fresh. Early on here, 11-20 left here in the first half, Wabash Valley with that one point lead. Julian Norris with the ball for John A. Logan up top, 20 on the shot clock. Norris swings over, Fairman on the left wing, pump fake, he'll drive in, kicks Norris at the right wing, pump fake, now he'll drive into the paint. Spin around, got away with the travel, fadeaway shot, he got it. Nothing but net, Norris can shoot it. Now going back from fourth a little bit, John A. Logan with a one point lead. Kaleem Taylor up high on the left side, drives in to the left block, and he's fouled, Kaleem Taylor to the free throw line. I mean, the, you know, Tyler Smith-Peters, we know how great of a coach he is for this John A team. He's created probably one of the best programs in the nation and so he's sitting there screaming double high screens which is what this Warriors offense is Kaleem Taylor going left instead and going to the line great stuff from Kaleem Taylor made his first free throw there he's a really good free throw shooter 78.8 percent on the year and ties it right back up at 14 apiece so the starter Caden Hawkins going to check back in for John A. Logan Bardo to the bench he had two quick fouls there in his time 
Taylor made both free throws, so Wabash Valley right back to that one-point lead. Teams are going back and forth right now. Julian Norris has been doing it all for John A. Logan. He's got the ball in his hands up high on the right side. Around the screen, he'll find Boone on the roll at the right block. And one for Cam Boone as it's going to be a blocking foul on Colleen Taylor. Or Mujal Burton, rather. He, he did the right thing. He did what exactly he's supposed to do. If he is just a foot closer to Cameron Boone, that's a charge. But unfortunately, he's still a little bit too farther back, and he's just not able to create that, you know, that contact to shove you. I make a correction. I called that man one. I thought Boone made the shot. He didn't. So he'll have two free throws, and he made the first. He's a 54.3% free throw shooter on the season, but he made that one. Ties it up right back at 15 apiece with 10.44 left in the first half. Missed the second. Razor Moore flies up for the board. Moore up to Taylor. Taylor up high on the left side. Here comes a screen from Diop. Taylor to the right around it. Driving to the rack. He'll go up, and he... Switched his hands in the air and uh, got fouled again. Colleen Taylor right back to the free throw line. Really athletic, trying to get a finish up that time. He's getting open looks to the basket. And, you know, the trouble is, is you have to finish over. Really, I mean, th this John A team's got big players at the big players. You know, they've got seven foot loundest and, you know, they got Boone in the game right now. And so, you know, they got some lengthy, you know, they got lengthy big men in the front court. And Colleen Taylor, not scared at all. And that's what you like to see because his, what is his strength, Zach? His strength is finishing around the rim. He's a big body guy. He's not the tallest guy, but finishing around the rim is his strength. He made that first free throw. Lown is back in for John A. Logan. Second free throw up and good for Colleen Taylor. He's got six points for him from the free throw line. Two point lead for Wabash Valley. Norris calling out the play. For John A. Logan, he'll get it to Lowness at the top of the key. On the drive, he'll dribble hand off. No, faked it to Hawkins, gone it to Logan. He'll pull up, no. Instead, kicks to the right corner. Fairman pump fakes. Now kicks it back out. Norris up high on the right side, sets up a new offense. Town on the shot clock. Norris around the screen. On the dribble, on the right wing, finds Lowness. Short right corner, he'll take a jump shot. He's got the touch. And Lowness with seven here in the early going. Here in the first 10 minutes of the first half is now, it's 17-17 with 10 minutes left in half number one. Taylor around the screen from Diop, driving to the rack, lost the ball, that's off of Loundis, he tipped it, stays with Wabash Valley. It's really hard, it's really hard to block a Loundis shot in that short corner, Diop trying to get a hand up there, just really wasn't able to get anywhere near it. 17-17, all John A's 17 points, 14 of them come from either Norris or Loundis. Taylor inbound into Sprinkles up high, now he'll go on the dribble, he'll slow it down up high on the right side. Now he'll dribble towards the logo. Here comes pressure from Jordan Logan. Sprinkles around a screen, driving towards the rock, and lost the ball. Jordan Logan takes it away. Confused offense there. Norris with it now, drives in, free throw line, kicks out. Fairman from the left wing, three ball, he missed it. Logan to the rebound, kicks Norris in the right corner. Norris jabs, now he'll swing over. Jordan Logan on the right wing, back to Norris in the corner. Norris looking down to Loundis, he'll go against it, he'll dribble it out. Up on the right side. Norris goes right from the loudest screen, kicks it, and intercepted by Adrian Sprinkles. Tried to get it to Hawkins, the shooter. Sprinkles read it like a book. Mujal Burton in the corner. Finds Diep. He'll take the jump shot. Left it too strong. And Lowness a rebound. Still 17-17. John A. Logan slowing it down a bit now. Norris running the point. Hands off to Fairman. Fairman on the right wing, directing traffic, trying to get it down low, looking for Lowness. Instead, Hawkins, top of the key, wide open three ball. Too strong. Gets his own rebound on the long rebound. He'll kick it. Fairman top of the key. He'll try his luck. That one's left short. Henderson the rebound. Wabash Valley the other way. Henderson on the left side across the, free, uh, the timeline. Up high. He'll go to the left. Lowness on him. Driving baseline. He'll kick it. Sprinkles. Right wing. He'll pull up for three. Too strong. Rebound to Lowness. Both teams getting looks. Nothing falling in the last minute or so. Norris on the right wing. Now he'll drive. Free throw line. To the left block. Throws up a shot. He got it. Norris with nine. Great shot, great finish. No, no backboard needed. Just swishing the layup. Gives John A. Logan that two-point lead, 19-17. Taylor on the drive, behind the back dribble around the screen from Diop. Now kicks Burton left corner. Jab steps. Now he'll go on the dribble to the left or the left elbow. Now Diop in the left corner. Pump fake drives, goes behind the back, gets his man in the air, and he traveled. Went with the up and under, and they call it travel. And I think that was just an incredibly good move. But Diop gets called for a travel. It's a turnover. 
I thought that's a beautiful up and under move, and that's exactly what you want to do. You want to get your defender up in the air and go under, and that, I mean, textbook. So textbook. good a move, you even confused the referee. 19-17, Johnny Logan catches a break. They've got the ball. Walker on the right wing with it, around the screen from Lowness. Now he'll find Lowness at the cut, at the right block. He throws it up off the glass, no good. Rebound up in the air. Diop rips it away from the seven-footer. Strong rebound from Al Haji Diop quickly up to Robinson. He'll cut in at the right block, lays it up and in. Ties it back up. John A. Logan needs a timeout. What a game it's been so far, and we're still in the early goings. It's 19-19 with 7.38 left. We'll be back here in 30 seconds. Steve Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has a huge selection of Jeeps and Chryslers. We have great deals, affordable financing, and an exceptional service department. Come see us today or view our new and pre-owned inventory at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. Steve Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has a complete lineup of Fords. We have great deals, affordable financing, and an exceptional service department. Come see us today or view our new and pre-owned Fords at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. Zach Reynolds, Austin Harrelson here with you on 89 on the Bash and News Channel 15 YouTube, the Warrior Sports Network. And we got a great one brewing here in the Spencer Sports Center. John A. Logan, Wabash Valley Warriors doing battle here in Grack Play. It's 1919. Johnny Logan with the ball moving right to left. It'll be RJ Walker running the point up on the right side. Dribbling down to the right wing around a screen from Boone. Left side, Hawkins wide open for three. Missed that one. He's usually a good shooter. Boone saves it in bounds off of Robinson and saves with Johnny Logan. Heads up play there by Cam Boone. Or now they're going to say it goes to Wabash Valley. It looked like they initially called it Johnny Logan basketball. Instead, it'll be Wabash Valley ball. I'm happy about that. Aren't we all? Robinson will bring it up the court. Hawkins guards him. Picks him up in the full court, but Robinson at the top of the key. Waiting for things to develop. Now he'll go on the drive. To the right block. Loads up a floater. Left it short. Hawkins the rebound. Robinson stays with him full court. Hawkins quickly to the left elbow. Now kicks. Left corner. Fairman, he stepped out of bounds. Not a lot of room in those corners over there. We see about one of those at least a game here in the Spencer Sports Center where somebody thinks they're in bounds in the corner, catches the ball, and they're out of bounds. Yeah, they immediately look to rip back inside, and they're just out of bounds. Great well, defense so far from this Warrior squad. Both teams, it's 19-19 right now. Back and forth, we've been going. Robinson over the logo, running the point. 20 on the shot clock, waiting for things to develop. Got the play from Coach Terrence McGee. Robinson directing traffic more. Burton, right wing, three ball. Kind of faded away, no good. McGowan tipped up the rebound, ends up in the hands of Norris. Norris quickly the other way, showing off the speed. Drives in, lost the ball, and a bow. Oh, ooh, foul call. I thought Burton got a block. And instead, they're going to call a foul on Colleen Taylor, it looks like. Yeah, I think that's the right call there. I think we're getting another timeout. Another immediate timeout here, still. All knotted up this time at 19 apiece. 19-19, 6.38 left here in the first half. We'll be back here in one minute. College doesn't have to start at an expensive school far away. You can save money and be close to home at Wabash Valley College. Many careers only require a two-year degree or certificate. Or get your general education classes out of the way and transfer to a four-year school. Wabash Valley College has programs in high-demand careers such as physical therapy assistant, advanced manufacturing, marketing, business management, nursing, and radio television. To find out more about Wabash Valley College, go to iecc.edu slash wvc. One of the things we want all of our customers to make sure of is that if you do install a generator, make sure that you have a properly functioning transfer switch. And a transfer switch will make sure that the generator is disconnected from utility service and that protects your equipment and also protects all of our crews working on the line. If a generator is not hooked up correctly, it can send power back to that transformer and then it can be high voltage in a dangerous situation. Zach Reynolds, Austin Harrison here with you on 89 won the Bash and News Channel 15, the Warrior Sports Network. Out of the media timeout, it is going to be Julian Norris at the free throw line for two. Got fouled on a fast break layup attempt. He's got nine of John and Logan's 19. Elliot Lowness has seven. They've only got three other points total. 
It's yeah. been a two-man game for him. And, you know, if you're the Warriors, if that's the way that John A. wins this game is through two players, you got to be content with that. This Warriors team has done a really good job defensively. And even Loudness hasn't, I mean, it feels like he really, besides those first three possessions, really hasn't been able to do a whole lot since. Norris has been really good, though. He's got 10 now as he made that first free throw. Missed the second. Logan gets the offensive rebound. Kicks it out to Norris. Now Jordan Logan in the right corner. Drives baseline. And he thought he committed a charge. It's going to be a blocking foul on Julian McGowan. Wabash Valley fans not happy with that one. That'll be McGowan's second foul here in the first half. Yeah, I thought, that, I mean, McGowan's, McGowan's feet were shuffling there. I think it's the right call, but you want the charge there if you're Wabash. But they're getting the right idea. Just get in position. They're going to keep driving. One-point game, 2019, John A. Logan with it. Walker inbounds to the top. So Logan who handed off to Hawkins. Now Logan on the left wing. Fake left, now he'll drive in the right. Kicks it, Hawkins at the top of the key. Now they'll slow it down. Up high over the logo, it's going to be Julian Norris. 10 on the shot clock. Norris around the screen from Boone to the left. Driving to the left block. Kicks it. Top of the key to Logan. He got away with the travel. And Walker pulls up for three. Left it short. It'll end up out of bounds. And uh, no harm done there. Wabash Valley will get the ball back. Yeah, I mean, forcing deep threes. That, that, John A has done this a few times already. And the Warriors have done a really good job of forcing those deep threes. Robinson brings it up. Caden Hawkins playing full court defense on him, but Robinson able to break the timeline easily. 20 on the shot clock. Robinson tries to split two defenders and lost the ball. Norris takes it away. Here comes Norris the other way. Norris to Hawkins in the short right corner. Into the paint, and a third foul on McGowan. And that one, he, he got Walker that time. That one, no doubt about it. McGowan probably going to have to take a trip to the bench here, which means Wabash Valley going to get smaller. And I feel like this is an every game occurrence where, you know, McGowan, him being so ultra athletic and being basically that defensive anchor, he gets in foul trouble real quick. An 89% free throw shooter, RJ Walker, he made that first one. Gives John A. Logan two point lead, 21 to 19. And McGowan does go to the bench, sprinkles in for him. Isaac James checks in for John A. Logan. So him and Boone, both two big men. No real big man on the court for Wabash Valley. Free throw missed, Robinson gets the rebound. He'll bring it up the court, up to Sprinkles now on the left side. Sprinkles working against the big man, Boone, reverse layup, couldn't finish it, left it a little short. Norris the rebound the other way, kicks it Hawkins on the right wing, right back to Norris. Norris around the screen, spins back right, goes to the right block, off the glass. What a talented player Julian Norris is. He's got 14 already. 14 to John A. Logan's 23. Quickly, raises him on the right corner, he'll drive baseline. Kicks it out. Sprinkles left wing. Three ball. Left it well. Short. Raisin Moore the rebound. Puts up a floater. He left that short off the front of the rim. James the rebound this time. Walker the other way. To the top of the key. Now Hawkins up on the right side. He'll dribble to the logo and reset the offense. 20 on the shot clock. Walker now to Norris. Norris around the screen. Back to, to Hawkins. That top of the key. Left side. James now left corner. Walker. Nine on the shot clock. Over the logo with it, Norris. Norris working against Sprinkles. Here comes a screen from Boone. Five on the shot clock. Norris kicks to Walker. He'll go on the dribble. Hawkins at the top. Did not get it off in time. Shot clock violation. A great defensive possession there for Wabash Valley. Yeah, we got the mismatch there with Lucas Henderson on Boone. And, I mean, incredible stuff. Brandon Razor Moore just help defense has been incredible so far in this game. And that's what we've been asking for. For, you know, it <laughs> feels like three years now from this Warriors team is back help defense, backside defense, and when, they're finally getting it. When you got a size disadvantage, you got to help out well. They've been doing that here so far today. Taylor around the left, and he is fouled. Not sure that's going to be on a shot. We'll see. It's going to be on Walker. And let's see. Or maybe they might change that to Loundis. I'm not sure. I saw one referee put up the 3-0-1, just the three. They called it on Walker over the PA. We'll see. And it'll be on the floor. So Wabash Valley with the ball, 20 on the shot clock. Henderson on the inbound to the left of John A. Bench. Inbounds to Taylor up high on the left side. Taylor over the logo now. Finds Henderson. Right wing. He'll pull up for three. Too strong. Rebound Caden Hawkins. Hawkins the other way for the Volunteers. Hawkins at the top of the key. Now the free throw line kicks to James on the left wing. He'll drive in at the free throw line. He'll pull up for two. Money. James gets involved in the scoring. Now it's 25-19. John A. Logan on a bit of a run. 
mostly a defensive run, really. Yeah, Wabash just hasn't been able to get up any shots. Dwayne Saylor around a screen from Burton, driving to the right block. He is fouled hard by Elliot Loundis. So Colleen Taylor, who's got six points, four of which from the free throw line, is going to go back to the line for two more. Just Loundis' first foul. He, he's seven foot, but he's really good at avoiding fouls usually. He just uses those arms. That time he had to try to swipe across and got a piece of Colleen Taylor's arm. 25-19, 4.06 left in the first half. Taylor at the charity stripe. Makes the first. He's five of five from the line tonight. Boone checks back in for Loundis. <laughs> I mean, the Taylor Smith Peter's not too happy on that John A sideline. You know, you don't want your, you know, your prize seven footer to get into foul trouble, but that's what's happened. Taylor made the second, hit the front of the rim, and then rolled in. Six of six from the line tonight. Gives him eight points. 25 21, Wabash Valley within four. John A. Logan and the talented Julian Norris with the ball. He'll handle Walker. Walker around the screen to the top. Now Norris on the right wing. Down to Boone. Throw it right in the hands of, the, of Colleen Taylor. Took it away. Throws this one up to Robinson at the left wing. Pump fake. Hasn't dribbled yet. Now he'll go on the dribble. At the right wing, or the left wing, rather. He'll drive to the paint. Steps it back. Tries to kick to Razor Moore in the corner. Knocked out of bounds by Isaac James. Warriors had a fast break opportunity. Terrence McGee not too happy that the Warriors didn't take advantage of it. Henderson on the trigger from the sideline, inbounds to Razor Moore up top. 15 on the shot clock. Razor Moore on the drive, hands to Kaleem Saylor. He'll step it back on the dribble. Drives to the left block. Fades away off the glass. No good. Boone the rebound. A lot of contact there. No foul call on Isaac James. James with the ball now up on the right side. At the right wing. He'll pull up for two. Left it short. Rebound. Cash Henderson. Henderson will bring up the court. A football pass all the way to Burton at the right block. He'll step it, fade away like Dirk Nowitzki, and missed it. Was too strong. Bad shot selection that time. Boone, the much bigger guy on him. Hawkins will slow it down for John A. Logan. Gets the play call from Coach Tyler Smith-Peters. Right side, James. Trying to back down Burton. Burton knocks it away from him. Ends up out of bounds, but stays with John A. I mean, this, very, this undersized Wabash team has done a really good job of holding their own. Especially when it comes to stuff like that. I mean, Burton obviously undersized in that situation, but he's able to poke the ball out, and that's what this Warriors team's really good at. Walker on the trigger, looking for somebody. No five second goal. He inbounds to Hawkins up high. Hawkins on the drive now to the free throw line, kicks to Norris. Norris jabs at the left wing, nine on the shot clock. Norris around the screen to the top of the key. He'll pull up for long three. That's no good, and it'll end up out of bounds off the rim. And Wabash Valley, another really good defensive possession, forcing a bad shot at the end of the shot clock. They're doing a really good job of when they're switching onto these big post players. They're getting in front of them, making sure that there's no easy entry to them. Robinson running the point for Coach Terrence McGee and the Warriors. To the left, and he's fouled. That's going to be on Cam Boone, I believe, and it will be. Yeah, I mean, if Danny Robinson would have had maybe one more second of time, he would have found the open, someone open. Henderson on the inbound right in front of John A. Logan's bench. He'll get it to Diop at the top of the key. He'll dribble handoff to Razor Moore. Razor Moore just outside the left elbow pulls up. Too strong Henderson, the offensive board. He'll dribble it out. Burton at the top. Now he'll go on the drive to the right block. Pump fakes. Now he goes up off the glass. He got it over the bigger James. Could have gotten the end one right there. Probably should have. Going through contact. Rusha Burton. Usually a sharpshooter, big time finish. Two point game, John A with a 25-23 lead. 2.05 left here in the first half. James on the left side, back to Hawkins. Hawkins up high on the right side rather, or no, the left side. Hawkins around the screen from Boone. Finds Boone on the roll and he is fouled by Robinson. Clearly that time, Robinson the mismatch, just fouled him, sent him to the free throw line. Boone, 54.3% free throw shooter. He's one of two tonight. See, that's where if Daniel Robinson is just a couple, maybe just a foot or two up in the paint, that's where he's able to take advantage of, okay, if you're the bigger guy on me, get position, take a charge. And these, this Warriors team has had so many opportunities to take charges and basically steal possessions, but they're not taking advantage of it. The couple of times they tried, they had their feet moving and got called from the block. Yeah, I mean, those, those are where... In a game like this, you have to steal possessions. You steal possessions like that, you're gonna win a ball game. Boone missed that first free throw. Second one's up, he got that one. I got a lucky, lucky roll that time. 
three-point game, 26-23. Vols with the lead, 156 left in the first half. Five on the floor for Wabash Valley. Razor Moore, Taylor, McGowan, Burton, and Henderson. McGowan in with three fouls. Uh, that's tough. To, McGowan's got to be real careful. Taylor running the point for Wabash Valley with Robinson on the bench. Gets it to Burton up high on the right side. She screams away from the ball. Burton still on the dribble. Around the screen from McGowan to the top. Got the mismatch with, with uh, Boone. He'll pull up for a three. He left it way short. Another kind of bad shot selection that time for Burton. Johnny Logan corralled the rebound. Hawkins will bring it up for them. He'll slow it down. Up high on the right side. Now he'll get it to Norris. Norris on the right wing. Around the screen from Boone to the left. Towards the top of the key. Kicks it left side. To James down the left corner. It's Fairman. Fairman on the drive. Will hand off to James. At the left the wing with 10 on the shot clock. James drives to the baseline. To the left block. Reverse layup. No, he dumped it off. And McGowan the block causing the tie up. Boone's got an inch or two on him. Tried to throw it up. Maybe even went for a slam, but McGowan rejected it, and possession arrow belongs to Wabash Valley. I love McGowan being aggressive. He's got three fouls. You know, most players, what they would have done is just sat there and let the layup happen. He goes up. Gotta love McGowan's effort. Robinson back in for Wabash Valley. Burton to the bench. Robinson running the point up high on the right side, directing traffic. Now he'll drive to the right, dribble hand off to Henderson. Henderson driving all the way around to the left side, gets it to Kaleem Taylor. Now back up top with the logo, Robinson. 15 on the shot clock, under a minute on the game clock. Taylor driving toward the right black. Picks it up, kicks it to Henderson. Fakes left, now he'll drive in right at the right elbow. Kicks it, McGowan in the left corner. He'll drive in, hop step. Henderson, top of the key, three ball. Cash money! Side game! Henderson, the three ball shooter, got that one. And it's tied up at 26 apiece with 30 seconds left in the first half. Norris up on the right side. Henderson all over him. Norris looking to his coach, Tyler Smith-Peters. 15 on the shot clock. Now Norris still over the logo. Waiting for things to develop. Here comes the screen from Boone. Norris to the left around it. Kicks it. James on the right wing. Five on the shot clock. James to Boone at the right block. Rejected by McGowan in a foul call. It's going to be on Henderson, not McGowan. Henderson got his hands on Boone. McGowan rejected the shot. Well, that'll send Boone, the poor free throw shooter, to the line here with a chance to take the lead back for John A. Logan with 10 and a half seconds left in the first half. I was waiting for a foul call to be called on the floor, and then the late whistle along with McGowan. Amazing rejection, you know. We're just happy that that's sent on McGowan because that, that would be... We wouldn't see McGowan for a long time in this game if that was on him. So Boone, 2 of 4 from the free throw line, made that one. So he is now 3 of 5. This would be his sixth free throw. No shock of the big man playing against undersized guys, going to the line a lot. As I mentioned, 54% on the year. Second one up. He made both of them that time. So it gives the John A. Logan Volunteers a two-point, 28 to 26 lead over the Warriors with 10.5 seconds left in the first half. John A. Logan showing full court pressure. Razor Moore on the inbound to Taylor. Taylor across the timeline, eight on the clock. Taylor driving into the paint to Logan Pluck. With the left hand, he got it. Now with it, Logan throws up a heave. No good, and Kaleem Taylor with the crush slashing basket to tie it up. We're tied up at halftime, it's 28 apiece. What a game it's been so far. What a game it will be to the end. We've got a lot to talk about at halftime. We'll be back for the halftime show here on 89 on the Bash and News Channel 15, YouTube, the Warrior Sport Network, in three minutes. The Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois, has an outstanding service department. With free pickup and delivery, we'll make sure your vehicle runs perfectly at an affordable price. Come see us today or view our service specials at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. News Channel 15, winner of the Intercollegiate Broadcasting System Award for the nation's best community college TV station.
College doesn't have to start at an expensive school far away. You can save money and be close to home at Wabash Valley College. Many careers only require a two-year degree or certificate. Or get your general education classes out of the way and transfer to a four-year school. Wabash Valley College has programs in high-demand careers such as physical therapy assistant, advanced manufacturing, marketing, business management, nursing, and radio television. To find out more about Wabash Valley College, go to iecc.edu slash wvc. College doesn't have to start at an expensive school far away. You can save money and be close to home at Wabash Valley College. Many careers only require a two-year degree or certificate. Or get your general education classes out of the way and transfer to a four-year school. Wabash Valley College has programs in high-demand careers such as physical therapy assistant, advanced manufacturing, marketing, business management, nursing, and radio television. To find out more about Wabash Valley College, go to iecc.edu slash wvc. You already know that the First National Bank is your real community bank, but have you met our people? It's the people inside that make us a community bank. We live here. We work here. We're your neighbors and your friends. When you bank with us, your money is reinvested in your community. At the First National Bank, our customers are more than an account number. People are the reason for this community. We're your hometown bank, serving the area since 1906. We are the First National Bank, where our people make the difference. Come see us today. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. One of the things we want all of our customers to make sure of is that if you do install a generator, make sure that you have a properly functioning transfer switch. And a transfer switch will make sure that the generator is disconnected from utility service and that protects your equipment and also protects all of our crews working on the line. If a generator is not hooked up correctly, it can send power back to that transformer and then it can be high voltage in a dangerous situation. You already know that the First National Bank is your real community bank, but have you met our people? It's the people inside that make us a community bank. We live here. We work here. We're your neighbors and your friends. When you bank with us, your money is reinvested in your community. At the First National Bank, our customers are more than an account number. People are the reason for this community. We're your hometown bank, serving the area since 1906. We are the First National Bank, where our people make the difference. Come see us today. Equal Housing Lender, member. Zach Reynolds, Austin Harrelson here with you at the Spencer Sports Center at halftime on the Warrior Sports Network, 89.1 The Bash and News Channel 15 YouTube. We're tied up at 28 apiece here at the Spencer Sports Center as the Wabash Valley Warriors taking on the John A. Logan Volunteers, the reigning national champions. And right now at halftime, we're all tied up, Austin. Yeah, no, and I think, you know, the only thing you could point towards is the Wabash Valley Warriors defense so far. You know, this team has struggled the past couple of weeks with playing teams with, you know, that have the height advantages, you know, in the post game. And so what this Warriors team is doing a really good job of and what John A has been trying to do a good job of is a whole lot of a whole lot of off ball screens to try to get a mismatch in the post. Well, what the Warriors are doing is they are getting that mismatch of the post. They're fronting. And then that back help, this, is, this has been the most important thing defensively the past couple weeks, is that that backside help has not been there. And then they have not been keyed in on it. They haven't been fronting, especially if we watched against Vincennes. Zach, every single time, every single time they were down the court, Vincennes knows if they pass it to one side, swing it to the other, they're going to get position. This Warriors team's doing a really good job of making sure that they are in front of that post player getting in front of that post player and then trusting that backside help that's all it is it's not it, it, in all reality it's not rocket science and this warriors team is doing a really really good job of just noticing that and so you know you're gonna you're gonna give up some points on the perimeter which we have seen today but that's worth it you're you're tied at half which i know last time these two teams played the warriors were up at half but you know also we've got you know, McGowan in foul trouble as well. We got some other factors, you know, leading into that as well. But this Warriors team, give them credit defensively. This is way more improved than what I saw myself from Shawnee. And this is, I mean, the, the Shawnee game was one of those games where it showed how important Julian McGowan is really to this team. And then offensively, I still feel like it's stagnant, 
I still feel like they're depending on Kaleem Taylor to really take that pick and roll himself and just take it to the rack. Well, you know, as you mentioned that, I'll get into the scoring summary. This has been a defensive matchup for both teams. That's not take away. Johnny Logan's playing pretty darn good defense, too. Uh, scoring summary, I mean, Wabash Valley easily could have a lead in this game, but Julian Norris is putting Johnny Logan on his back offensively. He's got 12 points. He's got a three-pointer, a number of mid-range jump shots. He can shoot the basketball. He can dribble it. He's keeping a minute because after Norris, you've got Lowness with seven, and all seven of those were very early on. After that, it's Walker with three, James with two, and Boone with four off in the free throw line. They're not doing a lot on offense outside of Julian Norris. The flip side of that is Wabash Valley's leading scorer is Colleen Taylor. He's got eight points, six of those eight from the free throw line. But in a way, as you mentioned earlier, that's kind of a, by design because the play is being ran to get Colleen Taylor or Daniel Robinson, although Taylor's having more success, Driving to the rack, either he finishes, which he did one time, or he's getting fouled the rest of the times. And then it's just you got to make your free throws. So Taylor with eight. Daniel Robinson with five. Brandon Razormore and Mujah Burton each with four. Lucas Henderson with three on that three ball towards the end of uh, uh, towards the end of the quarter there that made it a tie game at that point. And then Adrian Sprinkles has two points as well. Not a lot of scoring from either side. This has been defensive heavy and I'm sure it will, will, will remain that way in the second half. Yeah and I think a lot of that has to do with the environment as well. You see how electric it is in here and you know this like like we've said this Warriors team really in the past hasn't had too many problems with scoring the basketball. Like you said against you know OCC they put up 70 points which is good for a Juco team you know it's right around what they average but they gave up 101 and so today and even even Saturday defensively, it was like defensively is where you're going to have to win these battles because even though the offense wasn't there for Wabash, their defense was able to keep them in that Shawnee game. They, they ended up losing by six, but you're going to lose conference games like that. Listen, your offense hasn't shown up today is the only way to put it. They're trying. They're really trying whatever they can, you know, but Guess what's been there? The defense. And I think it all has to do with, because if you look down the court each time, you're going to see a mismatch. You're going to see it. You're going to see a mismatch unless Julian McGowan or Diop are in the ball game, which we've seen a lot of that not happening. And so this Warriors team is doing a really good job, and I give them a lot of credit. They've also gotten a lot of breaks as well with, you know, some really, I think, missed opportunities as well. But... You have to take advantage of those opportunities. I think the Warriors are doing a good enough job right now. But my thing is, they're gonna th these charge calls. They're gonna start calling charges. <laughs> the Warriors had three opportunities, all blocking call all blocking calls. They're gonna get those calls in the second half. I think you know. Well, as, I mean, especially guys like you know Loudness. He's got good touch and he's got good footwork. But when I look, when Cameron Boone and Isaac James in the game, those are guys on John A. Logan that are big guys, but they like to throw their bodies around. They're going to, I mean, they're giving it to you. They are throwing their shoulder into you. You know, take the hit, go down, and you got yourself a charge call most of the time. Yeah, and, you know, you, you bring up a good point. Really just putting their head down and driving in, and which works, which works. But if you're the Warriors, there's a way to combat that, and that is to literally, quite literally, just stand there. Just stand there, hold your ground, and take a charge. You just got to take it to the chest, and, you know, which I know I know Terrence McGee's in there right now. I know he's saying, you know, that. Now, this team, surprisingly, hasn't had a lot of trouble. They, they haven't had a lot of trouble with this post offense. I mean, what Loudness... Had a couple of shots in the, you know, quite literally in the first couple possessions. That's it. This team's done a really good job. It's just now you got to start guarding the perimeter and the post play at the same time. And that's where this team has struggled defensively throughout the season. Yeah, right now it's just kind of trying to hold, do what you're doing and then hold Norris in check as much as you can if you're the guards. And you've got a shot. Got to get some more going on offense, but I, I think that, it's something that's obvious for Coach Terrence to me and that he's going over. I think he knows what he needs to do, and now it's just a matter of execution. 
Yeah, and that and that's really what it's been this year is we talk about what talks could be going on in the locker room, and we kind of know, you know, you, you just watch the game, you know. But it's all about execution, and, you know, this Warriors team went on a little bit of a dry spell for a second, and then they were able to just really, I mean, they were down 25 to 19, and then their defense stepped up. A few shot clock violations. It's not just getting lucky breaks and them not making shots. It's shot clock violations. This John A team hasn't been able to get up an easy shot. They know what they've got to do. Will they do it? I'm going to take another few-minute break here at the halftime show, and then we will find out what Wabash Valley is made of. They're side right now with Johnny Logan, 28 to 28 at halftime here in the Spencer Sports Center. Can they continue to protect the home court at the Spencer Sports Center? We'll find out. We'll be back here on the Warriors Sports Network in two minutes. The Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has an outstanding service department. With free pickup and delivery, we'll make sure your vehicle runs perfectly at an affordable price. Come see us today or view our service specials at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. News Channel 15, winner of the Intercollegiate Broadcasting System Award for the nation's best community college TV station. One of the things we want all of our customers to make sure of is that if you do install a generator, make sure that you have a properly functioning transfer switch. And a transfer switch will make sure that the generator is disconnected from utility service and that protects your equipment and also protects all of our crews working on the line. If a generator is not hooked up correctly, it can send power back to that transformer and then it can be high voltage in a dangerous situation. College doesn't have to start at an expensive school far away. You can save money and be close to home at Wabash Valley College. Many careers only require a two-year degree or certificate. Or get your general education classes out of the way and transfer to a four-year school. Wabash Valley College has programs in high-demand careers such as physical therapy assistant, advanced manufacturing, marketing, business management, nursing, and radio television. To find out more about Wabash Valley College, go to iecc.edu slash wvc. Steve Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has a huge selection of Jeeps and Chryslers. We have great deals, affordable financing, and an exceptional service department. Come see us today or view our new and pre-owned inventory at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. Steve Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has a complete lineup of Fords. We have great deals, affordable financing, and an exceptional service department. Come see us today or view our new and Jack Reynolds, Austin Harrison, back here with you. Just uh, about a minute or so left in the halftime. The final shot's getting put up for both teams right now at halftime. Here in the Spencer Sports Center, tied up at 28 apiece. Zach Reynolds and Austin Harrison here with you on the Warriors Sports Network, 89.1 The Bash and News Channel 15 YouTube. Austin, I cannot wait for the second half of this game. It is, if it's anything like the first half, it's going to be fun basketball. Yeah, I mean, it was really, it was really fun basketball, and, you know, you know, the, the newer generation, which I guess I would be considered with, is that they like high scoring games, high scoring games. You know, this is a fun defensive battle. This is, this is, you know, who, it's quite literally, you have to fight for every single bucket that you've got. We've watched Kaleem Taylor drive in countless times fighting. He's gonna to need get some ice. I mean, he's getting hacked when he's going to the rack. And so, this Warriors offense has just got to find something offensively, but even they haven't found something offensively, and this is a tied ball game. That shows, once again, like we've talked about, what, like we talked about the entire halftime show, this defense has really, really stepped up for this team. Need to continue to do that. Step up just like you've done on defense. Try to find a little bit more offense as well, and they can knock off the reigning national champions. Here at the Spencer Sports Center, about to get underway. The five on the floor for Wabash Valley in the start of the second half will be Daniel Robinson, Julian McGowan, Brandon Razor Moore, Colleen Taylor, and Adrian Sprinkle. For Johnny Logan, it's Caden Hawkins, Jordan Logan, Julian Norris, Elliot Loudness, and RJ Walker. All team, both teams with their starters start the second half. Johnny Logan with the ball moving left to right now. Wabash Valley will move right to left. Norris to Hawkins on the right wing, down to Loudness, almost lost it. One dribble, turnaround, hook off the glass, no good, gets his own rebound, put back, he lays it in. 
Lowness right to work to start the second half. Two point lead, 30 to 28. Robinson will run the point, try to answer for Wabash Valley. Robinson over the logo, directs traffic. Tries towards the right side. At the right wing now, Hawkins on it. 15 on the shot clock, up top to Sprinkles. Sprinkles at the top of the key. On the drive now, around a screen from McGowan. Tries to split two defenders, lost it. Lowness comes away with it. Lowness the other way, throws it to Norris at the right block. Into the middle to Logan, back out extra pass. Norris, right corner, pulls up for three. No good, Robinson the rebound. Robinson the other way, looking up. He'll kick Sprinkles in the right corner. He'll take one dribble, then pass back out. Robinson kicks it to Taylor. Taylor on the left wing, drives in, free throw line. Now at the right block, goes up, no foul call. McGowan and Lowndes is fighting for the rebound. McGowan comes away with it. Ball still on the floor. Robinson kicks up to Sprinkles. Sprinkles finds Razor Moore. He slams it home. Ties it up right back at 30 apiece. John A. Logan needs a timeout. An impact to start here at the second half. 18.49 left in this one. 30 to 30. We'll be back in 30 seconds. College doesn't have to start at an expensive school far away. You can save money and be close to home at Wabash Valley College. Many careers only require a two-year degree or certificate. Or get your general education classes out of the way and transfer to a four-year school. Wabash Valley College has programs in high-demand careers such as physical therapy assistant, advanced manufacturing, marketing, business management, nursing, and radio television. To find out more about Wabash Valley College, go to iecc.edu slash wvc. Well, Brandon Razor Moore had the slam dunk to bring it back to a tie game, but make no mistake, Julian McGowan made that play, fighting for that rebound, ripping it away from the seven-footer, diving on the floor for it. Robinson also diving on the floor. Hustle, that's what you want to see, and that's what Wabash Valley showed there, and they got the slam dunk because of it. Hawkins will bring it up the court left to right for John A. Logan out of the timeout. 18.45 left in regulation. Hawkins on the right side, guarded by Henderson. Waiting for things to develop. We're going to have a foul as Walker ended up getting knocked down away from the ball, and that's going to be on Adrian Sprinkles. His second. Trying to fight through screens and knock down Walker. Walker now on the inbound from the sideline. Gets it up to Hawkins at the top. 18 on the shot clock. Left side, Jordan Logan with it. Logan hands off to Walker. Now right side. Hawkins with it. Back to the left with Logan. Or excuse me, Walker. 10 on the shot clock. Walker around the screen from Lowness to the top of the key, kicks it. Hawkins, right wing, three ball, money, nothing but net, and looks towards McGowan's way. Hawkins likes to trash talk a little bit. That's his first basket. Robinson running the point on the right side, on the right wing, around the screen from Razor Moore, kicks to Razor Moore in the right corner. He'll drive into the paint. Lost the ball, he was fouled, was waiting for him to call it. That'll be on the, on the ground. It's going to be on Julian Norris. That'll be his first. Yeah, I didn't know if they would. Didn't know if they were going to call that. It was a tad bit late of a whistle. Robinson on the trigger underneath his own basket, looking for somebody. Finds Razor Moore, right wing, free ball. No good. Rebound knocked around. Lowndes comes away with it. He'll outlet pass up to Hawkins. He'll bring it up the court. Now he'll go to the top of key. Finds. Lowness at the right block, rejected by McGowan. It ends up out of bounds. It'll stay with John A. John a. Lowness could have had an easy layup there, and McGowan comes flying in from out of nowhere. I mean, w what we, an athlete. We talk about how big of an impact he's had. He has not had that much of an impact when it comes to the scoreboard, but man, just every other, or I guess the stat sheet, but this... This kid's flying all over the place. He's got three fouls. <laughs> That's not stopping him. You love, you love the fight. Walker on the trigger. Finds Logan at the block. He'll go up. Fouled by Razor Moore. Couldn't finish the shot. So Jordan Logan to the free throw line. 33 to 30 is the score. Johnny Logan with the lead after the Caden Hawkins three moments ago. They got a chance to add to it here with Jordan Logan at the free throw line. 66.7% free throw shooter on the season. It's a big time three from Hawkins. You know, his first points of the game. Where's defense is still looking good. It's just they got to get something together offensively. Logan missed that first free throw off to the left. Gets the ball back. He likes to take his time at the free throw line. Must be a fan of Giannis. 
<laughs> Second free throw, he made that one to the Manette. Robinson quickly the other way, now he'll slow it down up high on the right side for Wabash Valley, swings over to Razor Moore. Razor Moore just to the left of the logo, swings back up high on the right side to Henderson. Henderson tried to go around the screen, now left side Taylor. Taylor will drive to the free throw line, passes McGowan at the block, he's fouled, didn't matter, didn't get the call, he still made it over Alounis anyway. Quickly the other way, walk in the right corner, back out to Norris. Left side, Jordan Logan, pump fakes. He'll drive to the rack and try to put up a poster. He couldn't get the dunk, but a foul call. He'll go to the line. That's going to be four on Julian McGowan. Uh, that's tough. That's the last thing that you wanted to happen. And, you know, that comes with the hustle, and I, that's that's the saddest I, part about I, it. I understand that that is a foul call on Julian McGowan, but he got hacked by Lownis on the other end. They just didn't call it. That's gonna be a tough break for, for McGowan. So Logan, back to the free throw line, made that one. And Terrence McGee, not happy. Ter Terrence McGee is making a bold call leaving McGowan in this ball game. He with is. four fouls. We'll see if it can pay off. Logan, at the free throw line, made the second. Makes it 36-32, 17-17 left in the second half. Robinson to bring it up the court. He'll dribble handoff to Henderson on the right side. Henderson driving to the left, handoff to Taylor. Taylor back to Robinson over the logo. 20 on the shot clock. Robinson around the screen for McGowan. He's fouled by Loundis. Loundis got his body into him. That's his second foul. Yeah. They're, they're doing a lot of good things. Off ball, I mean, the off ball movement has been really, really good for the Warriors. They just got to get a bucket. Taylor looking for somebody to inbound it to. Needs to get it in, and McGee's going to have to call a timeout to save it. Good uh, inbound defense from John A. Logan. Volunteers with a four-point lead, 36-32, to 17-03. Left here in the second half. We'll be back in 30 seconds. You already know that the First National Bank is your real community bank, but have you met our people? It's the people inside that make us a community bank. We live here. We work here. We're your neighbors and your friends. When you bank with us, your money is reinvested in your community. At the First National Bank, our customers are more than an account number. People are the reason for this community. We're your hometown bank, serving the area since 1906. We are the First National Bank, where our people make the difference. Come see us today. Equal Housing Lender, member FDIC. Lucas Henderson will be on the inbound now out of the timeout and he'll get it inbound this time to McGowan up top 20 on the shot clock McGowan hands off to Taylor Taylor driving to the right block throws it out to Robinson or it got tipped away it was tipped still Wabash Valley ball 10 on the shot clock Robinson drives to the right block throws it up rejected by Loundis tried to throw up a hook over the 7 footer nothing there so with five on the shot clock, Wabash Valley is going to need to get something off quickly. Diop checks in. And McGowan's going to go to the bench with those four fouls. Taylor will be on the trigger underneath and to the right of his own basket, closer towards the corner there on the right side. Five on the shot clock. Taylor trying to inbound. Finds Razor Moore on the right corner. Fade away. Jump shot. He got it! Money for Razor Moore. Makes it a one-point game. Get it to your best players, good things will happen. Hawkins on the left side. Razor Moore guarding him, around the screen, finds Loundis on the row, he'll kick, right corner, Walker, three ball. No good, Robinson the rebound, Wabash Valley a chance to take the lead. Taylor up high on the left side, driving, cuts in, free throw line, right block, finger roll, he got it! Takes the lead! Over the seven footer. Norris on the right side. Loundis screaming in frustration. Swings over, left side Logan, down the left corner, Walker, back up to Logan. Logan at the top, swings right side to Norris. 14 on the shot clock, Norris calls for a screen, he's got it, he goes right instead. Now left around the screen, finds Lownis at the right block, off the glass, the touch from the big man. Lownis with 11, makes it a one point lead for John A. Logan, back and forth we go again. Raising Moore at the logo, around the screen from Diop. Tried to kick it to Diop on the roll, and. A Kickball violation stays with Wabash Valley. This Warriors offense, like, <laughs> Brandon Razor Moore, just get him the ball is really what it is. Get, get Brandon Razor Moore the ball. Let him shoot. 
He doesn't take a lot of shots. We were talking today, he's a very passive player. This guy needs to be taking more shots. We see just how important his offensive production is. Sailor on the trigger underneath his own basket, 21 on the shot clock. Needs help and a foul call away from the ball. Gonna be on Julian Norris. So Wabash Valley catches a break. They'll get a fresh five seconds on the inbound. Taylor still on the trigger. Looking, looking, finds Henderson in the right corner. He'll dribble it back out, it'll reset. Up high, now over the logo. 15 on the shot clock. Henderson drives to the left elbow. Now the left block, spins around, kicks, top of the key, Razor Moore. To the left elbow, left block, reverse layup, he couldn't finish, no foul call on Boone. Hawkins, the rebound going the other way. Hawkins kicks to James at the left block, spins around. Bounce pass, Boone at the right block, he slams it. Uh, I mean, that's just good ball movement from, <laughs> that's just a good ball movement from the Volunteers, just finding the open guy in the post. Blaine Taylor up high on the right side, he'll call a timeout. Full timeout, Coach Terrence McGee wants to talk it over. Back and forth we go, John A. Logan, a three-point lead, 40-37, to 15-09 left in the second half. We'll be back here in one minute. The Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has an outstanding service department. With free pickup and delivery, we'll make sure your vehicle runs perfectly at an affordable price. Come see us today or view our service specials at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. News Channel 15, winner of the Intercollegiate Broadcasting System Award for the nation's best community college TV station. You already know that the First National Bank is your real community bank, but have you met our people? It's the people inside that make us a community bank. We live here. We work here. We're your neighbors and your friends. When you bank with us, your money is reinvested in your community. At the First National Bank, our customers are more than an account number. People are the reason for this community. We're your hometown bank, serving the area since 1906. We are the First National Bank, where our people make the difference. Come see us today. Equal housing lender. Zach Reynolds, Austin Harrelson here with you on 89. One of the Bash and News Channel 15 YouTube, the Warriors Sports Network. A great Drac matchup here inside the Spencer Sports Center. 40 to 37 lead for the John A. Logan Volunteers, the reigning national champs, trying to knock off Wabash Valley, who's undefeated so far this season here at the Spencer Sports Center. It's been a defensive masterclass for both teams. Wabash Valley with the basketball, 23 on the shot clock. Henderson to inbound from his own bench. And gets it to Taylor. Taylor over the logo will let things develop. Now Burton up on the left side. Finds Taylor cutting to the right block, and he finishes off the glass. What a play drawn up out of the timeout. Gets it a one-point game. Norris hands off to Walker, right back to Norris in the right corner. He tries to back down Henderson towards the right block. He'll turn around. Henderson right in his face, kicks it out. Way up high to Walker on the right side. 15 on the shot clock, left side James. Now left corner Fairman. Sherman back to James, now Walker over the logo with 10 on the shot clock. Here comes a screen from Boone. Walker left around it, he'll pull up for three. Diop with a contest, he airballed it. Turnover, Wabash Valley gets the ball back with a shot to take the lead again. Caden Hawkins is gonna check in, and Walker after the air ball takes a seat on the bench. Just gotta keep forcing bad shots. They came out of the, Warriors came out of the timeout with a great Great play, Drew up. Got to do the same. Taylor over the logo. 20 on the shot clock. To the right side. Now, all the way to the right block. Finger roll. He got it. A little bit of English on it. Colleen Taylor starting to take over. He's got 14. They got 16 on the board. I got 14. Somebody's wrong. Hawkins up high. All the way down to Boone at the right block. Here comes the double team. Diop knocks it away. Ball on the floor. Diop's got it. Diop's got it. Bounce pass up to Burton, now Henderson one-on-one, -on -one. here comes help. Henderson to the left block, no foul call, now the foul call. Henderson to the free throw line. Smith-Peters all the way out on the court. Well, ref probably need to call something here. Now they're gonna make the student section back away because they're too close to the John A. Logan bench, apparently. Uh, so I was actually trying to figure out what was going on over there. Uh, some of the fans um, might have uh, I, I, I thought that one of the fans of John, uh, one of the John A. fans might have, uh, might have grabbed one of these, one of the young baseball players on this side. I think that's what I saw. Well, now the coaches and the referees going to talk about this. Uh, either way, Lucas Anderson is going to be at the free throw line. 
Uh, yeah, taking attention away from the uh, taking attention away from the game is crazy. And they're they're gonna, this is wrong. I mean, the baseball, the student section is on the left side. They're on Wabash Valley side, but Tyler Smith Peters thinks they're too close to the middle, so he's going to make a move even further. That's a little soft. Expe I mean, Tyler Smith Peters is a little soft. Look at Terrence McGee. He's, he's liking it. This, the crowd's in it here at the Spencer Sports Center. This is how you win a game. Now we got to quiet down because Lucas Anderson's at the free throw line. And he made the first one. Now they erupt. Anderson, a good free throw shooter, 77%. It's 42-40, Wabash Valley with a two-point lead. Need the students here for big-time matchups and environments like this, and that's what we got. Henderson made both of them. Swiss that one, 43-40, 13-53 left in the second half. Spencer Sports Center getting into it. Norris up top for John A. Kicks to Fairman on the right wing. Fairman around the screen from Boone. Diop picks him up. Right side, Norris. Back to Fairman at the top of the key. He drives in, kicks out to James. 15 on the shot clock. James swings over to Norris on the right wing. Norris gets a straight from Boone, goes the left around it. At the top, left side, James. Five on the shot clock. James driving, hop step, throws up a floater. No good. Diop flies in for the rebound. Good defense from Diop and the rebound. Henderson up on the right side. Bounce pass to Reza Moore. Drives. Baseline around the paint. Dumps off. Diop up. No good. Gets his own rebound. Goes up. He's fouled. What a couple of possessions from El Haji Diop. The defense, the rebound. The rebound on the offensive end. Yeah, making the a, most of his minutes. I mean, it's the second chance opportunities. We beg and beg for this Warriors team to at least fight for second chance opportunities. And Diop right there, making a, being well known on both sides right now. Doesn't play a whole lot, but McGowan with four fouls. Diop in the game, he hit the first free throw. He is making it count while he's in there. Loundis comes back in, as does Logan and Walker for John A. Logan. They get the starters back into the game. Razor Moore, Burton, Diop, Taylor, and Henderson in the game for the Warriors. Warriors with a four-point lead, 44 to 40. And Diop missed the second one too strong. John A. Logan the other way. Julian Norris with the basketball. Just across the timeline, he'll direct traffic. Dribble handoff to Walker. Now up top, Logan with it. Lownis at the right wing. Dribble handoff to Walker. Walker swings back over. Norris in the right corner, looking down low, nothing there. Top of the key. Left side now. Logan on the drive, off the glass. Good move there from Jordan Logan. Oh, that's a great finish there with the left hand. Cuts this lead to two now. Taylor brings it up, up on the right side. Spins away from Hawkins. Still on the right side, dribbling slowly. Now he'll drive fast, into the right block. Kicks it, tried to find D up on the roll. Ended up in the hands of Loundis. Norris now the other way. Cuts it in, he lays it up, no good. Henderson the rebound. Henderson the other way, looking up. Now he'll slow it down. Wise decision from Lucas Henderson. Looks to Coach McGee for the play call. Now directs traffic. Henderson on the left side. Hands off to Burton. Burton dribbles all the way around to the right wing. Hands off to Taylor. Taylor back to Henderson on the left wing. Up high. Looking for a cutter. Nothing there. It comes a screen from Diop. Henderson right around that. Bounce pass. Diop. Extra pass. Nothing there. He made a bad pass. Taken away by Walker. Up to Norris at the left block. Lays it up. No good. Henderson went flying. He'll get the foul call. Henderson asking for a charge, but he certainly wasn't set. Uh, Diop just trying to do too much on the offensive end. Just got to go up right just there. Just have to go up. Oh, that's tough. That's that's the last turnover that this team needed right now. Yeah, two-point lead, but Julian Norris, a really good free throw shooter. Well, up. Actually, he's only 68% on the year, but that's pretty decent. A chance to tie it up if he can hit both of these. He's one of two from the line in the first half. 12.03 left. In the second half, Norris's first free throw is good. Makes it a one-point game. Julian McGowan with four fouls checks back in, as does Daniel Robinson, Diop, and Taylor to the bench. So a five on the floor for the Warriors. Robinson, Henderson, Razor Moore, Burton, and McGowan. McGowan's got to play careful, but we both know McGowan is not going to play careful. This guy is the definition of hustle. Norris with a chance to tie at the free throw line, 44-43. And he missed it. It stays 44-43. Henderson the rebound. The guard brings it up. He looks to Coach McGee. McGee calls out the play. Henderson drives to the left. Now McGowan at the top. Right side Robinson up high. Back to Henderson. He'll dribble handoff to Robinson. Foul called or not called. Should have been. 
Robinson still on the dribble to the left wing. Burton in the left corner. He'll drive into the paint. Finds McGowan with the right block. Ball knocked away. Razor Moore comes away with it. He'll pull up for a long two. He got it. Never seen a better mid-range jump shooter in college basketball than Brandon Razor Moore. Hey, he needs to do this all the time. Hawkins on the right side. Faked a handoff. Now he'll dribble to the left elbow. Kicks out. And a push off there. No call on Jordan Logan. He hands off back to Hawkins. Right side up high. It's Norris. 15 on the shot clock. Screen from Lowness incoming. To the left around. It kicks it to the corner. Logan almost lost the ball. He's on the dribble. Behind the back pass, and it's out of bounds. He got too flashy. Coach Tyler Smith-Peters not happy about it. 46-43 in Wabash Valley with the ball. Robinson gets the inbound. Hawkins showing full court pressure. Robinson brings it up on the right side. 20 on the shot clock. Robinson to the left. Dribble handoff to Burton. Weave action. Burton hands off to Henderson. Now at the top. Daniel Robinson looking for a cutter. Nothing there. Finds Rob or Henderson. Spins around. Drives to the rack. Picked up the dribble. Kicked it to Robinson. Now left side. Razor Moore with it. Drives to the left elbow. Pump fake. Spinning around. Henderson. Top of the key. Three ball. Cash money! It's a six-point game. Henderson's second three of the game. That's a big one. Oh, the biggest three of the ball game so far. Hawkins faked the handoff on the left side. He kicked, goes to the top of the key, now kicks Logan. Back to Hawkins at the top. Left side now Norris, trying to get it down. Norris driving to the baseline, got away with the travel, got a shot block taken away. Brandon Razor Moore got it. Up to Henderson, bounce pass. Robinson in the corner, extra pass out to Burton. Burton on the drive, being fouled, they're not calling it. Kicks it, Henderson wide open, left wing, three ball, cash money! They call him Cash Henderson for a reason! Wabash Valley believes the lead to 52 to 43. The Spencer Sports Center going crazy. John A. Logan needs a timeout. 52 43, 10.06 6 left. We'll be back here in 30 seconds. Yes, please. <laughs> That's so funny, bro. That's so funny. Thank you. <laughs> Zach Reynolds, Austin Harrison here with you on the Warrior Sports Network. News Channel 15, YouTube and 89.1, The Bash on the radio side. Lucas Anderson, couple of three balls in a row. They call him Cash Anderson, that's his nickname, and uh, he certainly earns it with the way he shoots the three ball. And uh, he's got two in a row, and all of a sudden, it's a nine point lead for Wabash Valley. Yeah, if you're, if you're the Warriors, you have to let that, you, you gotta keep letting the energy fly everywhere. That's why this game is what it is now. We've had some energy, you know, from the stands. We, we've seen it, but on the court, this Warriors team is eating it up right now. Keep getting those big time shots, make those big time shots, and keep creating open opportunities. And it's the defense leading the offense. The defense has been here all game. We've been begging for the offense to come, and it's starting to. We've been, we've been more than begging at this point. <laughs> John A. Logan out of the timeout with the ball. Hawkins running the point left to right. Hawkins dribble hand off to Fairman on the right side. Fairman in the top. Left side, Bardo fresh in. Bardo kicks it back to Hawkins, and now Fairman. Fairman over the logo, 15 on the shot clock. Fairman directing traffic, looking for help. Swings left side to Hawkins. Hawkins down low to James. Outside the left block, James faces up McGowan, drives. Reverse layup, no good. Lowness goes the rebound, no. Razor Moore takes it away. Razor Moore on the dribble, passes, tried to get it to McGowan. It was tipped, McGowan comes away with it. McGowan in the short left corner, needs help. Picked up the dribble, he throws this one up. Robinson corrals it. 19 on the shot clock. Robinson resets. Up high left side. Gets the play call from Coach McGee. Here comes the screen from McGowan. 10 on the shot clock. Robinson still directing traffic. Robinson to the left. Got fouled by Loundis. Instead, they said he stepped out of bounds. That should have been a foul. Loundis was getting him with the hips. Instead, Robinson, he got forced out of bounds by Loundis, but uh, instead of a foul call, it's a turnover. Yeah, tough break right there. Like you said, we're going to see a couple of those. Yeah. It's basketball. It is. It's just what happens. Bardo will bring the ball up the court for John A. Logan after the turnover. Still 52-43, 9-10 left 
in the second half. Fairman up top, left side to, to Hawkins. Now in the left corner, Bardo on the dribble. He'll back it out towards the left wing. Around a screen, he'll drive to the left block, kicks it. Fairman, right wing, three ball. He got it, nothing but net. Fairman, only a 21% three-point shooter on the season. He got that one, made it look easy. Wabash well, Valley going to call a timeout. They still got a lead, but a long time left in this one. They're going to have to try to hold off John A. Logan. They're leading 52 to 46 with 8.48 left. We'll be back here in one minute. College doesn't have to start at an expensive school far away. You can save money and be close to home at Wabash Valley College. Many careers only require a two-year degree or certificate. Or get your general education classes out of the way and transfer to a four-year school. Wabash Valley College has programs in high-demand careers such as physical therapy assistant, advanced manufacturing, marketing, business management, nursing, and radio television. To find out more about Wabash Valley College, go to iecc.edu slash wvc. Steve Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has a huge selection of Jeeps and Chryslers. We have great deals, affordable financing, and an exceptional service department. Come see us today or view our new and pre-owned inventory at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. Steve Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois has a complete lineup of Fords. We have great deals, affordable financing, and an exceptional service department. Come see us today or view our new and pre-owned Fords at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. Fifty-two forty-six lead for the Warriors and the Spencer Sports Center. Battling with the reigning national champs, Johnny Logan. Uh, I mean, it's been a fun one. It's been a fun one. The energy is alive. Far from over, Zach Reynolds and Austin Harrelson bringing you this electrifying action. Taylor on the right side around Lowness. Kicks it, Henderson, left corner, three ball. No good, that time it was a little off left. Taylor gets the rebound over the seven footer. On the drive, spins around, he steps out of bounds. Oh, tough break there. Was able to tap up and knock the rebound away from a seven footer. Taylor only about 6'2", six, 6'3", six, but then he came down, stepped out of bounds. Hawkins running the play for John A. Logan. Now he'll swing over, Fairman on the right side. Fairman looking for a cutter. In the right corner, looking to get down to James. He does. He's got a mismatch. Faces up Taylor now. He's back down, spinning around. Showing off the dribble move. Still in the drive. He'll fade away, throw up a jump shot. Isaac James got it. That's a clean move. Clean move there. Ooh. A little bit of jerk and whiskey right there. Taylor. Up high on the right side now with the logo. Left side, Henderson. 802. Henderson drives to the left block. Spins around, and there's going to say he stepped out of bounds. Henderson's going to go over and show the referee that he's wrong. I've never seen a team call for stepping out of bounds this many times in a row. I, it, I, <laughs> uh, past three possessions. That's, that's weird. 52-48, Johnny Logan being handed another possession, a chance to get within two or one with a three-point basket. On the right side, Fairman with it, looking down low. Looking for James again. Instead, he'll go on the drive to the free throw line. He'll throw up a shot, a fade away, no good. Lowness, the rebound, put back. And he got it. Lowness with 13. And it's a two point game. Wabash Valley needs another basket. Need to put an end to this quick run. McGowan up top, swings over to Burton on the left side. Burton on the dribble. Waiting for things to develop. Hands off to Robinson. Robinson around the screen. Top of the key, now Burton. Back out, Robinson right wing, three ball. Money! Nothing but the bottom. That's exactly what the doctor ordered. Quickly the other way. Fairman drives to the rack. Picks up the dribble. Kicks it to Hawkins in the left corner. Now up top to James. James on the drive. Hop step. Throws it up off the glass. No good. McGowan on the board. McGowan on the dribble still. Behind the back. To the top of the key. Almost lost it. Dies on the floor. Ball's on the floor. And they're going to call a foul instead of a jump ball. Team's going at it, and John A. Logan's player, he's being a little bit of a hothead here. Henderson's, and Henderson looks like he's going to pick up a tech. Henderson was diving for a loose ball, gets called for a foul. The, the John A. player is being held back, and instead Lucas Henderson gets called for a technical, I believe. And this has big implications in a five-point game. So Henderson's going to pick up at least one foul here, I believe. Yeah, I, I I don't know what these referees, I don't know what that was all about. I mean, 
I, I understand why the John A. Logan player is mad, but at the end of the day, Henderson's diving on a loose ball. He, he, man up, you're playing basketball. You're gonna get bodies diving on you when, when, when you're on the ball, on the floor with the loose ball. Uh, he gets up mean mugging and then, uh. Listen, this is basketball. I love it. I love it, this is fun. This is a close game, this is an important conference game. It's a conference game. matchup, two of the top teams in the conference. Student section still getting into it here. Wabash Valley with a five point lead. It's gonna be Caden Hawkins at the free throw line for the technical free throws. Getting loud, trying to knock off Hawkins, Hawkins focus. He made it. He'll get one more. I just don't understand why a double T doesn't get called right there, in my opinion. Yeah, both both players are going at it. He made both of them. Hawkins, a nice shooter. That gives him five points. So now, a two-point swing there, and I, be I believe John A is going to get the basketball. So big potential swing here. So John A will have the basketball. That's 55-52, a three-point lead for the Warriors. 6.58 left in this one. And uh, the fireworks, I would venture, are not over. <laughs> Hawkins swings it over to Fairman in the right corner. Opposite corner now with Bardo, skip pass. Bardo down to James at the block. He lost the ball out of bounds. Got going in a hurry. He was looking through the rim for a dunk, and he couldn't hold on to the rack. Yeah, I mean, the Warriors catching a break right there. Robinson quickly the other way, now he'll slow down up high on the left side. Has a screen for McGowan if he wants it, instead of he'll pass it off to McGowan. McGowan still with it, now we'll go on the dribble, dribble handoff to Burton, Burton up top. He'll go right around the screen for McGowan. Burton on the right wing, has Alonis on him, spinning around on the dribble, trying to get past him, into the paint. Kicks it out, nobody there. Out of bounds, John A. Logan basketball. Yeah, it's tough. It just felt like ISO ball right there. Nobody was really moving. Nobody was helping out Burton. Oh, well, he had Lowness, the big man, on him, so he's got a, he's got the speed advantage there. He tried to get past him, and then he just he tried to kick it out, but nobody was there. So John A. Logan, another opportunity here to tie it up with a three ball or get within one if it's just a two-point basket. Bardo will run the point. He'll dribble handoff to Fairman. Fairman to the top. He'll dribble handoff to Hawkins. Reaction. Hawkins around the screen. Kicks. Bardo on the right corner. Bardo spins to the right block, and he traveled with it, got away. He jumped up, came down, they didn't call it. Left corner, it's James. He'll find Fairman in the left wing. He's wide open, and he got the three. Fairman, a 21% free throw, or three-point shooter. He's got two of them. And it's a tie game, 55 apiece. Robinson up high on the right side. McGowan now over the logo, left side, Taylor. 15 on the shot clock. Back to McGowan at the top, hand off to Taylor. Taylor drives to the right block, gathers, goes up, he's fouled. And Taylor back to the free throw line. That's gonna be Bardo's third, I believe. Yeah, I mean, what's Colleen Taylor's game? It's, you know, it, maybe it's a little bit of a reckless game, you know, just dribbling right, dribbling straight down. But guess what? It works. He's either going to the line or he's getting two, point, two easy points. And so, great work from Colleen Taylor. Taylor missed that free throw, left it short off the front of the rim. That's his first miss. He's six to seven from the line this evening. Bardo to the bench for John A. Logan. Julian Norris checks back in. He's been really good for them. Him and Lowness each have 13. Nobody else above six for John A. Logan. Taylor at the free throw line, made the second. One point lead for Wabash Valley. Julian Norris moving left to right for John A. Logan will run the point. Talented scorer. He'll dribble handoff to Fairman. Fairman kicks to Hawkins up high on the left side. Back now to Norris on the left wing. Norris around the screen looking for James on the cut. He's got it. He was out of bounds. They didn't call it and he finishes the layup. But they're going to call that against Wabash Valley. I think he should have been called for it. Instead, a one point lead for the Vols. McGowan hands off to Sprinkles over the logo. Sprinkles on the drive to the left block. Kicks it, McGowan just outside the elbow. Tried to dribble, now he'll pull up from the elbow for two, he got it. McGowan's got four. That's a tough shot there. That's a little a bit of a scary shot for McGowan to take. He just picked the ball off the ground. Was able to make it, big time shot. Fairman with it on the right wing, around a string from Loundis. He's doubled. He'll find Loundis now at the right block. He'll go on the dribble, turns around, that's gonna be, no, not a jump ball. Taylor just rips it away from him. Taylor the steal. And now a foul, that's gonna be on Julian Norris. 
Uh, they could they could have called the offensive foul, a foul there on Kaleem Taylor. Warriors catch a break, but man, the defense right there. I thought they were going to call the jump ball. I would I would I have both my thumbs put up for a jump ball. They get the steal. Big time play from Kaleem Taylor. Man, I mean he's got 17 in this ball game too. He's going to go to the line here, and it'll be. One and one, I believe. Or no, now they'll just, they showed that for a minute. Now, instead, he'll just inbound. McGowan up top. Hands off to Ray Zamora, top of the key. He'll go on the dribble, crossing over. Now, down towards the left block, throws it over the left hand. No good. McGowan the rebound, at the right block. One dribble, spins around, looking for help. Finds Sprinkles. He gets blocked by Logan. Logan, outlet pass to Norris. He'll bring it up. Sprinkles picks him up defensively. Norris crosses over, drives in, and a foul call. I think that should have been. A jump ball, too. And now Norris is getting a little feisty here. Foul's going to be on Sprinkles. He's third. Yeah, uh, one point game, 58 to 57. Norris is now Johnny Logan in the bonus. He'll be at the line for one and one. Has to make the first to earn the second. I mean, this is. Uh, we well advertised this game, Zach. <laughs> it's been I, better than advertised. You know, I think that we should get a lot of props for that. <laughs> we told you it was going to be a good one, folks, and it's been better than expected even. I didn't think that was possible. One-point game, 426 left here in the second half. It's not over yet. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it is very, very not far from being over. 426 left in this game. Norris at the line for one and one. He made the first turn, the second, that ties it up at 58 apiece. Chance for him to take the lead if he can make this next free throw. Henderson had checked in for Sprinkles there. So it's Sprinkle or Henderson, Robinson, Razor Moore, McGowan, and Taylor on the floor for the Warriors. Norris shoots the second free throw. He missed it. It's a tie game still. Robinson the rebound. Robinson will bring it up on the right side. He'll slow it down, dribble to the logo, wait for things to develop. McGee calls out the play. Around a screen from McGowan. Robinson goes to the left side. Now a kick. Razor Moore, top of the key, three ball. He got it! Razor Moore shooting the lights out of the basketball here in the second half. On the right side, Norris with it. Around a screen from James. Finds James on the cut at the right block. Opposite corner to Fairman. Now Logan on the left wing. Back up top to Hawkins. Good defense. Ten on the shot clock. Hawkins over the logo. Left around a screen. Robinson picks him up. He falls down. Robinson takes the ball away. Robinson, break away. Fakes the pass, gets a knock away. McGowan lays it in. 63-58. Textbook. Well, Best Valley surging back. They've got the lead once more. And building it up. Norris will pull up from the right wing for three. He got it. Norris, a talented scorer. Keeping John A. in it, it's back right back to a two-point game. That's his third three ball, or excuse me, his second. And it's time out on the floor, two-point game. Don't run, don't go anywhere. <laughs> don't run out of breath like I'm trying not to right now. This game's not over yet. We're gonna, we're gonna keep it right here. We're not gonna take the time out. Yeah, might as well. Uh, 63 to 61, Wabash Valley with a two-point lead and they got the ball coming out of the timeout. It's not over, Austin. I can just feel it. No, and I mean, you, you, I, this is my favorite part of the game is, you know, Hawk, Hawkins falls down. We get the steal. You see the entire team and the entire fan section get up. It looked like Robinson may have thrown it away. Just the way it looked. Gets it to McGowan. And then a big time three for John A. I mean, it's back and forth right now. This Warriors team has fought real hard, and offensively, they've shown up in this second half like we've wanted. But the thing is, is that John A's offense is right there with them. I mean, you just you just gotta gotta get defensive stops. You got a little, a tad bit of a smaller lineup out there for John A. Take advantage of it, and and just come out with the win. You just gotta make winning plays, and I think what starts the winning plays is number 10 for Wabash Valley. He's on the inbound against full court pressure now from John A. Inbounds to Kaleem Taylor. Now John A. backs off. It was a man press. Taylor will bring it up the court. Working against Caden Hawkins. Over the logo, 20 on the shot clock. The screen from McGowan comes. Taylor may have got away with a carry. Still on the dribble. Drives to the left block. Tries to dump it off to McGowan. It wasn't there. Taken away. Jalen Norris, a chance to take the lead or tie. Norris 
Gather step, throws it way back out to Hawkins. Right back down to the block. James lost the ball out of bounds, stays, or goes to Wabash Valley. Again, that's it. I mean, he's, he's done that multiple times. That power dribble slips away from his hands, and the Warriors, once again, they catch the same break. Still two-point game. Wabash Valley would really like a basket to try to get a little bit of a cushion here. Taylor up high on the left side on the dribble. Screen from McGowan if he wants it. Not there. A go around a screen from Burton. Kicks it back. Burton on the pop. Drives. Ends the free throw line. Spins. Finds McGowan in the left corner. He'll go on the drive. To the basket. Spins around. Up and under. Left hand. He got it. McGowan showing the post moves. A little bit of a, little bit of a dream shake there. Fairman on the right wing. On the dribble. Around a straight from Logan. Kicks it. North thought about the three. Now he'll go on the drive. At the right block. He lost the dribble, but uh, just threw it up in the air, and James laid it in almost like an alley-oop, although that's not how it was designed to be. McGowan comes up with a uh, lean it over. McGowan got lucky there. They could have called a foul. They, they, the refs had every opportunity to, but shout. Like, we got to give a lot of credit. We got to give a lot of credit to McGowan. He's been playing with four fouls for the past 10 minutes, Zach. <laughs> this kid, this guy is fought. Robinson. Gotta give him a lot of credit. Absolutely. Robinson checks in for Burton. McGowan, in a lot of ways, the heart and soul of this team. He's just so, such an infectious personality. He hustles all the time. Taylor on the dribble on the right side, crosses the timeline. Up high on the right side with 20 on the shot clock. 65, 63, under two minutes. Taylor now on the drive. Across the paint, spins back at the left block, goes up, reverse layup, no foul call, no good, rebound to Jordan Logan. Outlet pass up to Norris, two on two. Norris trying to take Razor Moore, he blew the layup, Robinson the rebound. Robinson the other way. Behind the back dribble, now up to Henderson. Henderson drives into the paint, at the right block, finger roll, he got it! Henderson with a great game in the second half. He's got 11. Left side, Jordan Logan, hands off to Fairman. Fairman at the top, crosses over, drives, into the paint, at the right block, throws it up off the glass, he missed it. Rebound, tapped around, Robinson comes away with it. Three on three, Robinson will slow it down, wise decision, Fairman on him. Robinson still on the dribble, up high on the left side. Now dribbles to the logo, 20 on the shot clock, four point lead, 67-63. One minute left, one minute. Robinson over the logo, kill on clock, 10 on the shot clock, Robinson on the drive, to the right wing, crosses over. Spins around, lost it, still has it on the drive. Drives to the right block, gather step, throws it up. Razor Moore has it, two on the shot clock. Razor Moore lays it up, and goes! What a play, right at the end of the buzzer. It's 69-63, that could be a dagger. Norris around the screen at the top, he'll drive. Passes off to James, kicks. Logan, right corner, three ball, he airballed it. McGowan the rebound, up to Henderson. John A. Logan's got to foul him. Let's. The student section getting into it. Henderson pumped up. Hey, you got to love it. All you got to do is hit these free throws, and you've knocked off the national champ. You got to love it. You got to love it. You had a big, you had, we talked about how big this game was. This Warriors team has taken the energy that was in this building, and um, ran with it is the only way to put it. Henderson makes the free throw. 76.7% free throw shooter. Made that one. That gives him now, they've got 16 points on the board for him. Three of them for the three point line or nine of them from the three-point line. He made both free throws. That could be a dagger, 71-63, 20 seconds left. Hawkins hands the Fairman right back to Hawkins. He'll drive to the right block across the paint. Kicks it, Norris, left corner, three. No good, hits the top of the, towards the shot clock. That's out of bounds, Wabash Valley gets the ball. Give this Warriors team a lot of credit. They came into this game with a three-game losing streak. We wondered all day long. What, we wondered what team we were going to get. <laughs> we, I mean, we, we got 
we got the team that we've been wanting for the past two weeks. This is coming in off a bad Shawnee loss. That's, a, that's not a loss you want. Coming in here and you're able to play as well as you did. Got to give a lot of props to this Warriors team. And man, you got to give a lot of props to Terrence McGee too for keeping his players intact. It's been a little, we, like you said, the fireworks were going off earlier. You got to give him a lot of props. 14.7 seconds left. This one, not technically over, but all the Wabash Valley has to do is protect the basketball and hit your free throws. And, and they've knocked off the national champs. And now it is worth saying, Johnny Logan won the national championship last year. They're only 11-11 right now, but they are super talented. They're 7-3 in conference. This is a big time conference, you know, eventually conference playoff implications because these two teams are trying to finish ahead of each other and get better seating eventually in the conference tournament. Both of them, I think, at three conference losses. This is a big deal. And Wabash really? Valley on a three-game losing streak where they lost by 20, they lost by 30, then they lost a heartbreaker by six. We didn't know how they were going to respond. But they responded in exactly the way they needed to. Yeah, I mean, this is the only way you were, could have responded to. John A. Logan playing lax now. Now they'll come up and foul. Colleen Taylor will go to the free throw line. Fitting how he'll go there after he's been seven of eight from the line tonight. And a lot of that in the first half, he was six for six from the, in the first half, and that's really what kept him in it in, this, in the first half with those, his clutch free throws, him not missing from the free throw line. What an awesome game from Julian McGowan. He only, he's going to finish with about eight points, but oh my goodness, did he affect this game. Well, the Wabash Valley Warriors do not win this game without Julian McGowan's defensive and hustle performances. Taylor made both free throws. 73-63, 10 seconds left. Fairman will pull up for three from the top of the key. He airballed it. Missed put back, another missed put back. Wabash Valley comes away with it. They win it. They knock off the reigning national champs. They stay undefeated at home. 73-63, to what a win. I mean, you, you couldn't, uh, I couldn't have asked for a better game. I mean, we talked about it all day. What team are we going to get? This team's coming off a three-game losing streak. You didn't have Julian McGowan last game. And we just saw how important Julian McGowan is to this team. And when, when Julian McGowan is on that court, you, this is a totally different ball club. But you got to give props to Kaleem Taylor. And you got to give prop or <laughs> you got to give props to Lucas Henderson. Props to, you know, Daniel Robinson hit a big three. And obviously, Brandon Razor Moore came up time and time again in this ball game. I mean, just clutch. And Coach McGee giving a nod to the student section that played such a big part towards the end and bringing up the atmosphere. And they, you can hear Wabash Valley going in the locker room. They are, they needed this. Oh yeah. They needed it, and they stay undefeated. They've not been beaten at home. They protect this house. Yeah, no, and I mean, you went up against, this is the toughest test of the year. At home, at least. <laughs> and and they they came through. You got to give a lot of props to them. Give a lot of props to this Warriors team. What a day of basketball. Two wins, a sweep for Wabash Valley. The women won their matchup big time. They won theirs. I got the score here, 109 to 65. The men win 73 to 63 in electrifying fashion. Thank you to everybody here on the News Channel 15 and 89 One, the Bash crew. We've got Braden, Zane, Blake, Asher down there for Austin Harrelson and Alex back at the station. I'm Zach Reynolds. It's a great day for basketball, a great day for the Warriors. Two wins. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 89 One, the Bash, brother.